It's been five years since a police helicopter crashed into the Clutha Bar in Glasgow, killing 10 people. To mark the anniversary, one survivor has released a book of poetry that he's written as part of his recovery from the trauma. Yes, Michael Byrne says he hopes this will shed a positive light on a day he normally dreads. His work has also inspired him to set up his own support group to help people with mental health issues. Claire McNeil reports. All I want is joy and gladness. I've lived too long in the shadows of sadness. All I feel inside is numb, knowing that I will succumb. It's almost like from the 30th of November one year, you count down to the 29th of November the next year, and you just want to be over with. Michael Byrne remembers the Clutha disaster like it was yesterday. You know, there was just debris everywhere, and there was injured people and other people who were deceased, it looked like. We um, tried to drag as many people out as we could, and then it seemed like a lifetime later, the emergency services came and um, told us to get out. Uh, we were offered no help or support. Um, I knew just under the surface I was breaking down, I was desperate to cry, I was desperate to let the emotion out, um, but I just didn't know how to. Five years ago, ten people were killed when a police helicopter crashed into the roof of the Clutha Bar in Glasgow. A fatal accident inquiry is scheduled for April to establish what happened. In the months after, the father of one struggled to cope as a series of past traumas all came to a head. He planned to take his own life, but unexpectedly found relief in writing. No matter what I say, think or do, I'll never be normal, unlike you. I just had this urge to write something down, whether it was to, whether it was cathartic to get these feelings out of me. I wrote a poem called The Final Chime, and it was just basically about the final chime of your life. I want to give up, I want to die, and um, therein began a journey of me writing poetry. He's chosen today to publish his book online through the help of a charity, Stigma Free Lanarkshire. Personally for me, I'm trying to do a positive thing on a difficult day. In my sort of commemoration to um, the survivors and the victims and the families and so on that the poems were released today because today is a day that people will need help to deal with the trauma and to deal with the past. And I know that it took me four and a half years to deal with the trauma and the events of that. Tonight, the Clutha will fall silent in remembrance. The pub's doors will close at 8pm as a mark of respect to those who lost their lives and to those who are still trying to come to terms with what happened here. Claire McNeil, STV News, Glasgow.